Do you want a super fast card idea to bust some paper stash without making scraps? Hi, I'm Jess from JessCrafts.com, and I'm going to help you make the most of your crafty supplies in time. So let's get started. Today's card is super, super simple. It's going to make an eight, it's going to make two A2 size cards with one sheet of six by eight paper. So it's six by eight, one sheet wonder, number seven, four A2. And that's because you can get six by eight templates for five by seven cards, or you can get A2 templates for six by six paper. You can get all kinds of sizes of papers and sizes of cards over on my blog. This template will be linked in the video description, but there's like 50 more free one sheet wonders over there so that you can make cards without making scraps and just really get through some of that stash if that's what you want to do. And you could combine it with your stamps and your dies, but today is a pure pattern paper card because this takes advantage of those three by four cut aparts that are often included in six by eight paper. You could also use your three by four journaling cards that you have from Project Life. So if you have, if that's the kind of stash you need to use up instead, this one is perfect for that. This template or this design also works for 12 by 12 paper. And I'll share that in a different video just so that everybody can find what they're looking for in terms of when they, they search it on YouTube. But I'm actually going to take my three by four cards and I'm going to cut some of them on the diagonal. If you don't want to cut your three by four journaling cards, that's okay. Take a second sheet of paper, cut those three by fours on the diagonal from the second sheet and keep all the cut aparts from the original sheet. And you'll make four cards instead of two, but you won't have to use up those journaling squares that already have the sentiment, the image, everything ready to go. I chose to cut up some of mine just because some of the sentiments that were included in this particular paper pad as it is Valentine oriented were just a little too lovey-dovey for me. This is the Simple Stories Happy Hearts. It's a new collection for this year. Of course, use whatever you have. This is about using your stash. But I don't make a lot of lovey-dovey type Valentine cards. I make a lot of cards to donate. And so it's actually better if they're not super Valentine specific. And in fact, these aren't. The One of the sentiments says for you. And the one other one says, I think you're so cool. So this could be given any time of year. But I was curious, do you guys make Valentine cards? If you do, do you just make one or two for your significant other, your kids? Or do you, I don't know, like, what do you like to do with Valentine cards? I think Valentine's Day is such a fun holiday. It's kind of like, to me, like Halloween, because it's really not about presents and all of that. It's just like a silly fun day. And so I like to give cards for Halloween because it's just like unexpected fun. And then for Valentine's Day, they're a bit more expected. But again, it's really just, you know, to brighten someone's day. And that's why I made some of the decisions that I made just because I need these for donating. And if you want, you can go to my blog, you can find out where you can donate your cards, and you can get free printable Valentine jokes to put inside them if that's more your thing. And so here you can see that I have a lot of like really cheesy punny jokes, which I think they're great for donating, but I also think they're great just for sending to family and friends. You know, if you don't know, always know what to say in a card, because I get like that too, or I'm just like, I just want to say happy Valentine's Day, but I want to include a little bit more. You, these jokes are great and you can instead hand write them if that feels a little bit more personal for you. If you found this video inspiring, here's another video where you can find more ideas for enjoying your crafty time and supplies. Let me know you like this video with a share to your crafty community. Subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss the next template or tutorial and check the video description for product links. See you in the next video.